Tara here from Simple Day, and I want to make Monday the best part of your week. <clears throat> if you need help with a custom implementation, check the description below for a link to my website. What I want to show you with this demo <clears throat> is how you can enter information easily into your board without having to scroll through all the columns. That means this board, this demo is of a grants overview that I set up. It doesn't necessarily have a lot of columns, but if you want to enter all this information, the question is, is there an easier way to do it? So the first way would be from a form. You can have an internal person on your team enter the information into a form. So all you would click is add view, add form, and here you can go and you would basically edit it and decide which columns they should enter for the information to go into the form, into your board. Obviously you can change the backgrounds, add your logo. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is you can actually add an item card. So what you would do is you click on this conversation bubble over here and up top you have different views and you're gonna wanna add a view and you're gonna click on item card. Now what the item card does is it pops this screen up and it has all of the columns on your board. So what I like to do is I would actually duplicate this and you may wanna stretch the screen a little bit so um, you can get make it a little larger or maybe have three. So here what I could do is I could set this up to pull in different information. So here I can have, let's say, basic information and here I could just have information or I can change it. So what I would do is I would click on the three dots and click on the settings and I can decide which columns I want here. So let, this has to do with grants. So let's say I'm going to take out all the information that's actually not relevant for the grants. This is just like the information about setting up the grants right now. So I don't need the application status. I don't need the people. Um, I don't need the name and I don't need the board. Okay. So here we have, let's just say this is our basic grant information. As we're filling out a grant, adding it to the sport. So we want to add this information, like what's the due date, the submission date, decision date, amount requested. Then let's say I want to see like an ongoing basis. What's the status of the grants? So I can change this to status of grants. And then I can change the item card. So all of this information is not relevant anymore, what it's up to, but I want to see, let's say the current information. So let's say I would want to see total spend today, the amount that was rewarded, the start dates and end date, how much is left, the grant type. So I would just unclick the columns that are not relevant. And here I have two different views to see everything that's on this board. So here's like the basic information and here's the status. Now, obviously if I wanna fill in the information, so maybe I only need to fill in this column or I can set it up differently, but this is another way, instead of using a form or filling information directly on your board, this is another way that you can easily either enter information to your board or view information in an easier way without having to scroll. Obviously, if you wanna view the information, you also can use views, but sometimes you have other information and you wanna view it um, this way, like on an item level, so you can do it like this. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, like it below and subscribe below so you can learn more tips and tricks on how to use monday.com.